Ada for breaking up my engagement because my fiancé isn't traditional enough? A little background. I, 26F, come from a relatively traditional Asian family, so sorry in advance for the bad English. My father owns a rice wine brewery and my mother help him with it. Even though I said my family is pretty much conservative, from what I've seen growing up, my father never told my mother to do all the chores and he helps her with it. My father always say that that he couldn't provide for the family alone and she has to work, that's why he never expect her to do everything in the house. Just like how they share the responsibilities to earn for our family, they also share responsibilities taking care of the household. Now, come my fiancé, 29M. We met on social media, he's an American who's currently working in my country. We've been dating for three years and been engaged for five months. He always tell me he's looking for a traditional woman and want to date with marriage in mind. He said that women who are able taking care of household and child rearing admirable and I always agree to him without much thought because that's indeed incredible feat right. He's working in a small university and I'm currently working in hospital. We saved enough to buy a house with a little bit of the help of my parents but we haven't moved in together though because you know Asian parents. But anyway, on my father's birthday last week, we talked about marriage once again. He doesn't think his income alone would be enough after our marriage, and it's giving him insecurities so I suggested that I keep working after marriage, and that's not a problem because we be partner. My father also offered that we take over his brewery and while I found the idea lovely, my fiancé on the other hand seemed hesitant about it, but he agreed that I should keep my job. That was where the first problem started. I told him that since I have to work then I expect he'll help with the household chores later. After I said that he suddenly got irritated. He said that he had been telling me he's looking for a traditional woman and that now he had been catfished since I don't want to take care every house chores because I'd still work anyway. Whenever he said he's looking for traditional spouse I always thought that he'd also be a traditional spouse aka being sole provider so I can focus on taking care of the house and child if we ever have any. But when I told him that, he said I'm a gold digger and materialistic like any other woman even when I never once asked him to be sole provider. He brought that up first. Mind you. I didn't even let him spend alone whenever we go out on a date, e.g. he paid dinner. I paid for coffee and movie. Even my father willingly offered his brewery if we want to take care of it as a mean to provide ourselves. So where's the gold I should have been digging here? That was when I actually put the ring down and tell him that I want to break up. I told him he's not traditional enough if he wants fully traditional wife. I didn't want to deal with someone who could easily call me a gold digger because I want to share the chores that hasn't even happened yet in front of my parents. I can't help but think if he could easily said what he said in front of my parents when we haven't married yet, then he could be saying something worse if we're married and alone. I went home alone, and he texted me saying he was sorry, and he didn't mean what he said. He asked to meet, but I don't feel like it. However, when I told my friends most of them told me I was a bit too emotional, hasty, and impulsive. That I might look like an asshole because I don't even want to meet him. His mother now trying to talk me out of it and that I'm too old to act like this, and it's the culture barrier that lead us to this point. So, here I am, trying to look for a new perspective. Ada? El Mayo. He wants a live-in maid slash servant that he can have sex with. He wants an indentured servant, not a partner. He wants to have his cake and eat it too. He's showing his true colors here. He wants you to do 100% of the domestic labor and work because he cannot finance this traditional life he wants. He is a chump and likely a red-pilled misogynist. He wants a trad wife, but he isn't going to be a trad husband. He's an idiot. NTA. He sounds like a refugee from the Passport Bros sub. I hope he gets legitimately catfished and ends up losing a ton of money to some woman who he thought he could exploit and degrade. That's what I was thinking when I read this. So many of the posts on there are men looking to spend the minimum amount of women to find women who will be their bay maids. Yeah, it's like. One American women make me put in effort so let me go abroad to take advantage of socio-economically disadvantaged women who have to be nice to me because they are in poverty. This should read dash, Passport Bro finds out that generalized assumptions about non-Western countries aren't all like that. Face with rolling eyes the best thing OP could do is not continue this relationship. I'm so tired of people like this man. NTA. It's funny when a guy would want a traditional wife, but brings nothing to the table. It's funny when a guy would want a traditional wife, but brings nothing to the table. The same men complain loudly about gold diggers while ignoring the fact that they have no gold to dig. So true. LOL, he literally got money from her parents to help pay for the home they just bought. How his brain managed to process that as her being a gold digger versus him is beyond me. He owns her. So what's hers is already his and what's his remains his. 
If she refuses to give him even more or asks for equality, she's automatically a gold digger. These people are narcissistic leeches who do Olympic-level mental gymnastics. Edit. Oh, and it's their attempt to make fairness the worst thing a woman can ask for. Like how nagging, which is just stop being lazy and help out for once, became an insult for a woman. Nick, you're a freaking gold digger. Jess, do you think if I were a gold digger I'd be interested in you? I would be the worst gold digger in the world. I got accused of being a gold digger when I was with my ex-husband. We were on government assistance. I always joked that I was apparently either the smartest gold digger, like, he had gold to dig that even he didn't know about, or the dumbest. You are 100% correct. If he doesn't provide 100%, then he should help around the house. But I'm curious, what do your parents think of what he said? My parents don't really speak English. So they only could understand it a bit and piece of what we said. My father initially felt bad. He thought we fought because he brought up the business, but after I told them the reason, excluding the gold digger and materialistic remarks. They are fully on my side, and if I want to end it, then I should, but they think I should meet him at least once to end our relationship properly. Be careful when you break up with him. Bring friends or relatives, preferably male ones, and meet him in a public place. Men like him can be dangerous when their woman stands up to them. All right, thanks for your advice. My parents are coming, and my father said he's not going to let me meet him alone. Thank you once again. I just want to say, I really admire your parents and you too, of course. Mad respect for leaving his sorry arse. He's shown you now who he'd be in marriage. When it comes to children or chores, he won't help. No matter what, that attitude won't change. Your definition of traditional and his American traditional wife got lost in translation. Traditional sounded to you like your parents. In American, traditional means the man works and the woman does everything at home and with the kids. No crossover, no partnership, no picking up the slack for each other when one's having a bad day. Keep on leaving him. In American, you're looking for a person who wants to be a partner with you in life. Not even that nowadays. For some American men, traditional means I work, you work, and you take care of the house. Mind-boggling. We call those men losers here in the States. Please don't listen to your friends. You handled that so well. He said what he meant. He's backtracking now. The reality is that he is the gold digger. You and your parents helped pay for the house. He can't provide enough to support an entire family and his attitude means even with you working, he will resent you for working and resent any help he has to do at home. He's just not a good person. I'm going back to work after staying at home with three children while husband works to support us. He helps at home, is an amazing father and husband. That's what partners do. When we planned to marry and discussed expectations, he said his ideal was one of us staying home, did not say it had to be me, until age four to five. His entire reason was he'd prefer they were home with one of us versus childcare, and that he wants us to bond with our kids and feels we could do that better if we didn't both have careers until school age. When we started trying for children, he again said he'd be willing to stay home if I preferred that but was also happy to support us. Our incomes were close. Mine was slightly higher but 60 plus hours slash WK. You were so strong and confident. It also sounds like you're ready for marriage and the compromise it takes. It is clear that he is not and has maturing to do to learn that two people make a marriage, not one person dictating, and the other not having their needs met. Opie, you should tell your parents about the gold digger comments that he made. They have a right to know. This way, they will be even more supportive about your choice to end this relationship and will not question it any further or feel bad any longer and think they have done anything wrong. I am so sorry that you experienced it. But I take a look at it as a blessing because you've seen your ex's true colors before you got married. Your family and especially your father have huge hearts for wanting to offer the family business to you and your ex. Your family business belongs within the family and whom you choose to marry should be someone who is amazing and who values you fully and completely. Where's the gold I should have been digging here? I cackled at this line quite a bit. Back to the topic, and TA for obvious reasons. Don't buy that cultural barrier BS. My ex-husband said that same thing to me when I left him when I had enough. I said what gold? You don't have a job. You refuse to get one. You don't have a license because you lost it due to too many points, unpaid speeding tickets, and are pissed I won't let you drive my car, premarital asset, and I pay for everything. Exactly what gold am I digging? The audacity of these dried-up gold mines, LMAO. Glad you left him. I'm a Western guy and a couple of my long-term relationships have been with women from traditional Asian cultures. However, I recognize that they're regular people. Just because they're Asian doesn't mean that they're naturally subservient 
or that I can get away with entitled behavior that wouldn't be acceptable in my own Western culture. Fair and reasonable are concepts everywhere. I think your principles are completely right. If he wants a traditional woman, then he needs to meet traditional expectations. If there's to be compromise, it needs to be on both sides. I'm not interested in providing financially and therefore can't realistically expect someone who is interested in doing all of the household tasks. If that is my expectation, I would expect to be dumped. I love the way you phrase it. I'm sick of dealing with Western men who thinks Asian wives are just subservient. I have never seen or met any subservient Asian wives, ever. They usually run their household with an iron fist. As someone who lives in Asia, LMAO subservient is the last word I would use to describe women over here. They're on top of their shit. They want you to be set before you get married too, etc., etc. That's why their men will turn around and date us foreigners thinking we don't care as much about dollar, education, family. We do. Only the language is different. Right? During one of the bad arguments with my ex, he actually said, you were supposed to be nice and submissive. You're Asian. I have never laughed so hard at him. I knew a Filipino guy whose mom was literally four foot tall and could gather an entire room to her presence just by yelling. He was about six feet five inches, and it was hilarious seeing him with her. She took zero shit. And my mother's best friend was from Hong Kong. I have never met a more dominant woman in my life. Also very small but could easily project her voice to a whole house if she felt like it. She was a whirlwind, but in a good way. She got shit done a hundred times better than anyone else I knew. And faster. These men haven't even met an Asian woman if they think they're all soft and quiet. That's the stereotype, but it ain't the reality. Personally, I think the above women's traits are more attractive because they're so assertive and confident. I'd love to introduce them to the Passport Brothers. NTA. He's the typical guy who likes traditional roles when it's convenient for him. You sweeping the floors while he rests his ass watching TV, but traditional goes out the window when it comes to providing for the household. Besides, you can't be a gold digger when his salary isn't even enough to hold up his side of the deal. I mean, this guy is pathetic. Surely he wants to marry a nice traditional Asian girl because no American woman is going to put up with his BS. So he wants you to do everything a traditional wife and mother does but also half of what the traditional father does? What a scam. These days a stay-at-home wife is a luxury most men can't afford. He better get a second job. He's one of those toxic man fear morons who think they deserve a bam may just for being a man. Why is it always the poor men who think women are gold diggers? If you're a gold digger, you're not very good at it. LOL. In T, you're wise to let this entitled little shit go. Sounds like he listens to Andrew Tate. They like to spout the virtues of traditional households. But oh, if a woman's not working, she's a gold digger. He's hesitant about taking over your father's business because his game plan is to eventually quit his job and leech entirely off you. If you get married, you will be a single mother to this man. Andrew Tate espouses slavery of women. I cannot stand him. NTA. Good for you realizing this wouldn't be an equitable split at all. If you haven't heard of Passport Brothers, look up the concept. I wouldn't be surprised if your ex falls into that mindset. I read that passport brothers are becoming such a plague in some countries that they're now targeted for robberies. A woman will pretend to be interested, lure a dude who thinks he just scored a hot bang made into a secluded area, and then her friends steal his wallet and shit. The exploiter becomes the exploited. You love to see it. I really have trouble mustering up any sympathy for a sex tourist looking to target vulnerable women. He called you a materialistic gold digger who catfished him in front of your parents? You were definitely NTA. And I think you're right to worry that much worse would be coming your way behind closed doors. If you do decide to keep him in your life, please proceed with caution. And his mother is wrong. This isn't a cultural barrier. Her son is a walking red flag. Yes, but my parents don't really speak English, so maybe that's why. I find his remarks even more rude because of that. I don't think I will keep him, and you're absolutely right. It's sad that I only found out when we are already at this point, but I'm glad we haven't gone further. The world would be a better place if more women had your sense of self-worth. You heard a man say that he planned to use you for free domestic labor while getting his bills subsidized by your income and said nope. Mad respect. I would also reconsider these friends who are calling you emotional for not giving in to his emotional hissy fit. You are not impulsive. You are smart and self-assured. I absolutely guarantee he would have blown a gasket if you'd responded to his gold digger insult by saying he wasn't a real man since he can't provide for his wife. If anyone catfished anyone, it was him claiming he wanted traditional gender roles only to pull the rug out when marriage was impending. 
block him and his mom and thank your lucky stars you got out before the altar. And T.A., and good on your parents for raising you to see what a healthy partnership looks like so that you know when one absolutely isn't. I think you've made a very smart decision walking away from this relationship. These are all big red flags. No amount of sweet talking will change his perspective. You are in no way a gold digger. It is absolutely a reasonable expectation that if you are a stay-at-home wife, that your husband is the breadwinner, and if you need to work, then the household chores need to be divided up to reflect that. Keep your head high and move on. NTA. If the dude wants a trad wife, he needs to be 100% sole provider to fill that trad husband role. That's only fair. Just be glad you realized how he is before getting married.